A specialized spectrophotometer that can determine the concentration of proteins based on observance of the sample. Principle It is based on Lambert Beach Law. Lambert's law states that the observance is directly proportional to the thickness of the sample. Beer's law stated that the observance is directly proportional to the concentration of the sample. That is, I0 is the incident light and I is the transmitted light. The observance can be measured by detecting the transmitted light intensity from the sample using detector. Um, it can read a large number of samples within a short time, which a spectrophotometer cannot. The two types of optics used in the LISA reader are filter-based and monochromator-based. Filter-based optics Light source It provides the light. Filter. Filter or diffraction rating limits the wavelength range between 400 to 750 nanometer. Sample. Light beam passes through the sample. Detector detects the light from the sample, amplifies the signal and determines the sample's observance. Monochromator based optics. Light source. It is necessary for providing the light. Excitation carrier. It selects wavelength using a narrow light aperture and transmits light to the sample. Emission carrier. It receives light from the sample and sends it to the detector. Detector detects the transmitted light from the sample and determines the observance of the sample. ELISA using monochromator based optics. It has a light in and light out optic fiber. Uses ELISA reader is mainly used for ELISA test. It is also used in protein and cell growth assays, nucleic acid quantitation, cell toxicity, proliferation and viability, and immunoassays. Assay of free phosphorus using ELISA reader. The phosphorus standards were prepared accordingly. Hundred mg of maize seeds were taken and extracted with one ml of 0.4 molar HCl for one hour at room temperature. Ten microliter of sample was taken and supplemented with 90 microliter of zinc reagent. After one hour, the blue color develops. ELISA plate is placed in the ELISA reader and it should be placed in the position shown here. The read option is selected. Assay number is entered. The mode of wavelength is set accordingly as single or dual. The required wavelength is set. The number of samples I entered and by default the number is 96. The plate ID is then given. The sample ID is entered. The reading system will convert the signal into data and it is obtained in the printed form. 
So, before entering the read button, ensure that the paper is inserted in the printer. The read button is then pressed. The reader reads the sample in the plate by passing the light and measures the observance of the sample by detecting the transmitted light from the sample. The output is displayed in a printed format, showing the observance of the sample in the plate. The standard graph is drawn using the concentration of phosphorus in x-axis and ORE in y-axis. The sample, which has an ORE of 0.152 in y-axis, corresponds to 0.5 microgram concentration of phosphorus in x-axis. Initially, 200 mg of seed was taken. If OD is 0.152, then the concentration of phosphorus is 0.5 microgram from the phosphorus standard. 0.5 microgram of free phosphorus is present in 10 microliter of the sample taken. Therefore, 1 ml of sample contains 50 microgram of free phosphorus in it. Thus, 50 microgram of free phosphorus is present in 200 mg of seed. 